Well, today... And as he runs on, think too of another who has shared Bradley's camp at Optus Oval in recent years, but who today finds himself tested like never before. John Worsfold, West Coast champion, premiership captain, debutant coach. He's back in those familiar Eagles colours today, and we know he knows how to soar in those. And that's the scene for Worsfold as he makes his debut as coach. It's an overcast and cool day. Perfect conditions to work out a few pre-season nerves. And there's Craig Bradley. He is unbelievable. Bit of an uncertain year ahead, I guess, for both Carlton and West Coast as we welcome you to Optus Oval. And welcome Peter Dacos as well to Network 10's coverage of the AFL. Thanks, Hutto. Look, it's great to be here. More importantly, great to be part of the coverage in 2002. Well, it is an uncertain year ahead for Carlton particularly. We know that no cooter in the long term. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the youngsters, no doubt, but uh, what do you think? Well, I think they've got some good kids coming through, Hutto. When you look at uh, the likes of Simon Fletcher, I know he's been around. They've got uh, Prendergast, Livingston that will come through, David Gallagher from the uh, Crows, Lindsay Smith from the Kangaroos. I mean, they've got certainly some size and uh, some talent coming through. Yeah, we can see some of their young players out there. Spawn number 36, 34 was Wiggins. But missing today, those players you won't see out there, obviously Cooter in the long term. Also not playing, McKay, Hickmont, Ratton, Christo and Freeborn. So it's a long list. Oh, the players will be certainly missing. I think with the youngsters coming on, the experience around them would have certainly have helped them. But uh, look, in this type of competition, first game of the year, three months after a pre-season, um, it gives the club the opportunity to introduce new talent into the football team. So how do you think they will cope then without those players? Oh, look, uh, a you... chance to, to be significant contributors in the uh, in the pre-season? Oh, I think so, Hutto. Look, uh, certainly they would be fit. They've had three months of being able to mentally and physically build themselves and uh, the responsibility now falls on these kids and uh, I think a lot of them will grasp it. It's all in the wake, of course, of Stephen Silvani, who's obviously retired. He's joining us very shortly, but uh, he's going to be a hard one to cover. Well, he will, and he looks pretty comfortable in retirement, uh, Soss does, but uh, look, I suppose uh, Carlton's loss is uh, our gain of 10, but uh, look, I think it's about opportunity and getting your uh, chances and, um, and that's what a lot of these youngsters uh, are looking for. Well, their coach is Wayne Britton and let's get down to Christy Malthouse. Thanks, Anthony. Well, Wayne, you've got five significant injuries, a chance to play some young players, though. Tell us a little bit about Trent Spawn, Luke Livingston, and even Lindsay Smith, who only got the one game last year. Yeah, I'm, we're young Spawn. He was probably a bit unlucky towards the end of last year that he didn't get a game in our senior team, but uh, he's really had a good pre-season. Simon Wiggins played a few games last year and is a real prospect. And uh, Lukey Livingston, who was our number four pick in last year's draft, had a few injuries last year. He's had a good pre-season, and we're looking forward to, to big things from him this year. Eccles and Gallagher new to Carlton but they bring some experience to the team. Yeah well Andy Eccles is a premiership player from Adelaide so and uh, you know like young Gallagher I coached him when I was coaching Carlton Reserves about four years ago so we've had our eye on him for a little while and he's, he's a nice courageous player. Happy with the team at the moment after the pre-season? Yeah look it's good to give a lot of kids a real opportunity and that's what we do in the first couple of rounds you know, so there's, there's blokes that will get real opportunities to stand up so we're looking forward to seeing how they go. Well thanks for your time Wayne, good luck. All right, thank you. Back to you Anthony. Thanks, Christy. Christy Malthouse with Wayne Britton. Well, that's the Blues and, of course, their opponents this afternoon, the West Coast Eagles, 13th and 14th in the last two years, which led to the change. Of course, Ken Judge being sacked and their coach now, of course, as we mentioned, John Worsfold. A pretty experienced team, really, lining up this afternoon. No McIntosh, who didn't make the trip over. Phil Matera, Banfield and Morrison also not playing. But we see Glenn Jakovic there and uh, also Peter Matera. As I said, plenty of experience and some premiership players there, Dave. Well, uh, Jakovic, as you, you made mention, Hutto, uh, I suppose probably leads the charge of uh, the West Coast trying to recapture former glories. As you made mention, new coach, new faces, new beginning. And uh, uh, we're a punda just on screen, out of screen now. Uh, certainly leads the charge of youngsters coming through. Yes, well, they, they believe that Wapunda may well play on ball on this year, so uh, we'll see how he goes. He's pretty fit. He's had a pretty good pre-season. Well, let's hear about some more about some of those rookies, and here's John Walsfeld starting off talking about young Chris Judd. Yeah, he's um, a tall midfielder, six foot two, um, very quick runner, and very nice skills as well. So we should see him playing. He can play wing through the midfield um, or half forward or half back. 
Yeah, and Brent's still only a young man and probably squeezed out of Collingwood a little bit with their quality tools and uh, came onto our rookie list. So he gets the opportunity today to, to be pushing up to um, potentially get a run on our senior list. Well, he's speaking there, of course, of Brent Tucky, the former Magpie. Well, the Eagles are out there, and so are the Blues. We're just about ready for the start. Back in a moment, the bounce of the ball. It's Carlton and West Coast from Optus. Well, no wonder he had to retire after copping all that. Stephen Silvani, who joins us this afternoon in commentary, welcome to Channel 10. Thanks, Anthony. I think I made the right decision after seeing myself go into that point post, so I'm quite happy to be sitting up here today. Well, what do you think of the Blues' chances this afternoon? Yeah, I think uh, the Blues have done a hard pre-season, and obviously they're going to be up against it. They've got a number of their senior players out of the side, but uh, I think West Coast, they're going to be tough to beat. Uh, I think uh, Johnny Worsfold's brought a pretty good squad over, and uh, for Carlton to beat this team, I think they're going to have to have it. Probably guys like Camparelli, Bradley, and also Hume probably stand up for the for the younger guys who are going to probably get their first crack at the, the game today. Well, of course, Carlton and West Coast are involved in a group, group number three, with Geelong and Richmond, who we saw earlier, and the Cats on top, of course, at the moment, but uh, West Coast and Carlton in that group, so they'll be playing each other in the round-robin section of the Wizard Cup. Look, yeah, it doesn't surprise you, the competition, I suppose, the way... Uh, football clubs are uh, bombing up. St Kilda last night and then you uh, had a very good win by the Cats today. So as you made mention Soss, you, you arrive at Optus and uh, they have got a lot of new faces West Coast. Uh, do the Blues, have they done their homework and uh, or will a lot of these kids slip under their guard? Well I'm sure they've done their homework but uh, obviously some of the kids have probably improved over the summer. They've beefed up, they're a lot stronger and quicker and I think that's the same for both sides. Uh, there's going to be a hell of a lot of nerves for players out there today They've all come off a of pre-season. They're faster, stronger. And uh, I think uh, you'll see probably early in the first quarter the intensity is going to be high, but there'll be a number of skill errors. Now, Woosher didn't uh, actually come away from Carlton with the uh, game plan book, did he? I'm sure he's hiding that in his briefcase somewhere, but he'd know our players, or I should say Carlton plays very well. And uh, he looked after the back line, and I'm sure he'd be trying to stretch the Carlton defence. We'll have to watch you on that this afternoon, Soss. 20 degrees, as you can see at the moment. I uh, doubt we'll get to 23, but certainly perfect conditions. There's been quite a bit of uh, rain last night after a very hot week in Melbourne. So, as we said, perfect for both sides this afternoon, and we'll get a good chance to have a look at uh, just how West Coast and Carlton are shaping up. Peter Matera decided to play on after last year, and uh, why not? He's still contributing and still going to be a player they're going to have to watch. Well, they've uh, kept certainly a lot of familiar faces uh, as part of the lineup. You have uh, Ashley McIntosh, who uh, isn't part of this group today, but you have Jakovic, as you made mention, Peter Matera. So there's still a lot of uh, responsibility on the shoulders of those players, being great players through the years. And I suppose as you're blooding uh, youngsters through your ranks, it's always good to have the sprinkling of experienced players. It just helps bring them on a lot quicker. Who are you Tipping today, Dax. I will go with West Coast. I just feel that uh, certainly under a coach, and we see it plenty of times, Hutto and uh, Soss, you, you tend to come out and you have something to prove and the spirit's there. And I think with West Coast, with Woosher and the experience that he brings, uh, I think you'll get a, a natural type of uh, spirit through this team. You see Dean Cox there on camera, along with Ben Cousins. So Cox will start in the ruck. Gardner being tried at centre-half forward. Yeah, I think the Blues would have been expecting that. Gardner has played centre forward in the practice match for the West Coast, so Simon Beaumont's picking him up. So he's given away a bit of height, uh, height Beaumont. The other luxury for the Blues, Matty Allen in the middle there. He missed a lot of the start of last season. He's had uh, two years of injuries, and uh, he'd be looking to get through the season. So Wilson starting in the goal square. Glenn Manton, his opponent. Matty Allen in the ruck for Carlton. The interesting matchup was Jack 